Welcome back to Marco Polo Club Flyer and a warm welcome from Doha Hamad International Airport. Today I will be flying with you on QR816 from Doha to Hong Kong, trying the airline's latest and award-winning Q-Suite product. Doha Hamad International is fourth and Skytrax's top airport of 2019. It is very beautiful and well designed. The layout of the airport, adapting a Y-shaped terminal, is similar to that of Hong Kong. The airport is separated into five main areas, named A, B, C, D, and E. This measure, I believe, helps passengers find their gates more easily. Full fare business class passengers of Qatar Airways are entitled to the Al Morjan Business Class Lounge. The escalator leading to the lounge is manned and they keep one route elite members traveling in economy class away. The reception of the lounge is of a boat shape, and behind the reception is Qatar Airways' beautiful Oryx logo and Al Morjan Business Lounge in English and Arabic titles. The two-story lounge is adorned with exclusive marbles and designer furniture. It truly is a showcase of modern flair and classic style. This lounge is the biggest business class lounge I've ever been to. At over 10,000 square meters, it is 10 times the size of an Olympics swimming pool. Also impressive was the high ceilings of the lounge. Steel and sparkling water are both served. A wide variety of alcoholic drinks and soft drinks are also available. I headed to the shower room, which was located at the corner of the lounge. The shower room is quite big, given that it is in a business class lounge. However, the ventilation wasn't that good, making the room hot and stuffy. Soon it was time for departure and I headed to gate B6. The Qatar Airways flight was operated with one rep partners, Cafe Pacific and Iberia. The 1.8-year-old Boeing 777-300ER aircraft was waiting for her passengers at the gate. Customers who required additional care, business class passengers, privilege club, platinum, gold and silver members, and one road emerald and sapphire members enjoy priority boarding. How are you, sir? Mr. Wong, yeah? Lovely to see you on board, so please take two bags.
Doha is a beautiful place surrounded by the ocean, and of course, the Q Suite cabin is also a beautiful place to stay in. The state-of-the-art cabin has a one-to-one -one layout. The middle seats are in a quad configuration, with both aft and forward-facing seats. The seats are dressed in fine fabrics, with the signature colors of Qatar, burgundy and grey and are surrounded by an elegant and warm rose gold detailing. Really a very elegant cabin. Qatar was the first airline to introduce doors in business class, redefining the level of privacy. Buttons on the main control panels allow you to adjust your seat. Note that there's a DND button which stands for Do Not Disturb. Once on, the seat number on the door would turn luminous. Under the panel were the charging ports. You may even connect your electronic devices to it so that the content can be shown on the large TV screen. The remote control provides an alternative screen where you can watch the flight map or other programs throughout the flight. Under the side table was a space for you to store some handy items such as the menu or the amenity kit. By pressing the release button, you may pull out the tray table. The big table, which is more than big enough for your computer or document work, is dirty and firm. The headrest can be adjusted up and down for your comfort. Between the seat and the door, there is another compartment. Inside, is another storage area for you to store some larger items such as iPads and MacBooks. The noise cancelling headset a set of duty-free magazines, and a bottle of Evian were preset inside. The compartment can also be raised and turned into a handrest. During meal time, you can lower it and easily leave the seat even when the table is set. The most impressive part of the suite is the TV screen. You can watch numerous blockbusters and soaps on the 22-inch HD TV screen. Lovely flying quotes are printed on the pillow and they can be taken away as a souvenir. Each suite is preset with an amenity kit manufactured by the Italian luggage brand, Bricks. If you are traveling with companions, the movable panels can transform up to four suites into a social area. An a la carte menu is available for this seven and a half hour flight. Other than the breakfast menu, there's also a menu for light options and the snacks menu exclusive for Q Suite flights. For non-alcoholic drinks, there are Sojani and up to 5 mocktails. There's also of course a free flow of teas, juices and soft drinks. I asked for breakfast right after takeoff. The table was preset with butter, honey and salt and pepper, together with a bread basket. After the meal, the flight attendants came by with some mints and a hot towel and asked whether I would like them to make the bed for me. Two attendants together turned the two adjoining seats into fully flat beds and covered the seats with bed sheets and duvets, making one very spacious double bed. The sliding doors guarantee your slumber will be uninterrupted. The Q suites were the first fully lie flat double beds in business class. They are covered with pillows and are complemented by the quite company sleepwear and sleepers to further enhance the quality of sleep. The gap between the two seats was covered by a padding so that the two beds are connected. However, in reality, you cannot really move across the beds 
as your feet are obstructed by the foot wells. It's really quite sad to learn that we are approaching Hong Kong International Airport. How would I rate this Qatar Airways experience? I would say it is fantastic. The whole experience began with the Al Morjan Lounge. The big size of the lounge surprised me a lot. Once on board, I was very well attended to by Qatar Airways cabin crew. Qatar won the best airline staff service in the Middle East of Skytrax 2017. As for the cabin, it was definitely the best business class product. Some may say the doors are not necessary and may make passengers feel a bit claustrophobic. However, to me, the doors successfully provide an incredible degree of privacy to passengers. The rear-facing seats are basically just the same as the forward-facing seats. In fact, you will only notice the difference in motion during takeoff and landing, but not in the air. The double bed was impressive and I believe no other airlines provide double beds in business class. As for the food, they were delicious and tasty. The a la carte dining means you can dine whenever you want. You can adjust your dining time and eat according to the time of your destination, tuning your body clock. The amenities provided are all beautiful and I would say the flight experience was easily one of my best ones. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and turn on the bell to receive notifications. Comment to let me know your thoughts and follow my Instagram, cxka underscore ken. Also, watch one red flyer's video. The link is in the description. Hope you've enjoyed your time and see you next time.